one career start at Wrigley Field that did not go well last year he walked six batters in three and two thirds field again tonight the former Marlin all for four in the series opener and he fouls back the high cutter and it's one and one you know Gary I remember that proof will be in the pudding in the second half for Walker he had a great first half last year and obviously to be more prepared physically for the second half this year and this is with a splitter and it's along with everybody else in that rotation of holding the fort waiting for the big guys to come back Ortega takes high ball four and Walker key days for him over the next two three weeks and he swings and misses at a breaking ball and it's nothing in one carry his last nine games zero extra base hits and one RBI championship team in 2016 there's a good slider by Walker and it's 0 2. Slider fouled off. Interesting that Walker has come out through on splitters and sliders. His last two starts. Up and in, and it's one and two to Contreras. I would like to catch and tag all in one motion. Start and stop by Ortega, and the pitch outside to Contreras, two and two. Not a very big lead. And Contreras goes down swinging on the splitter. But lately, his strikeout numbers have been way up. For the year, he's just a shade over seven strikeouts per nine innings. Percentage 373. That's eighth in the league. And he lays off the high fastball when it's one and one. They still have the rule that each team has to be rep. I have only one nitpick okay. with it. That's on the ground into the shift. Giorme with the backhand flip. Lindor doesn't bother me. Maybe for uh, Taiwan, have a little chip on his shoulder. They say a Suzuki, and he takes a fastball in the corner for a strike. But the, the he's pitched for the last month or so. Missed a couple of starts early in the green. He's been swinging the bat well. Rookie from Japan. Lines one to right field. Right there is Jankowski to pick it off. And that retired. Home of the Bears. Nico Horner flies one out to right field. And Travis Jankowski there to grab it. They are 28 and 28. I mean, that's. Which is unheard of. I mean, the Mets, by contrast, are 40 and. Tell you that their pitching has not been what they would have hoped. Frank Schwindel, New Jersey, I'm in the minor leagues, struggling before a an incredible rookie year last year. I mean, 13 home runs. Rounds one foul. He's not having the same level of success. You figured regression to the mean probably would happen. Did you say he went to St. John? 18th round draft pick. Walker couldn't get him to chase the curve on the back of the batter's box, maybe to combat that split finger. And there's the splitter that he fouls off. And he takes outside on the slider, and he's on base with a walk. Steve time in 303 at bats, which seems impossible, but I checked it, it's really true. I mean, he draws some walks, which is a consequence of seeing all those pitches. It's a good split and it's one and one. Yeah, Alcantara and he had a great duel in Miami. That's strike on the corner, two and two. And 13 straight starts, seven innings or more. <laughs> and that slider missed somewhere. Schwindel at first with one out, three and two to Wisdom, not running, and Wisdom pops it up. And Lindor retreating and uses two hands to put it away, two out. Here's PJ Higgins playing third base today. And Higgins takes a strike. Higgins, a Connecticut kid, nine year old rookie, making his 18th start. And he takes a strike on the corner, and it's 0 and 2. Well, there, I mean, to me, it's all about as Walker strikes out Higgins. Who's going to be here when the kind batter leads off of the Cubs against Taiwan Walker? Next curveball outside 265 nine home runs playing all over the place breaks his back flies it to shallow center you may out he's not going to get there and it lands for the first hit in this game it was an 11 tries he's going first pitch and Ortega flies it foul down the left side that'll go out of play let's check it what a what a rabbit hole you could go down if you're a pit that can uh, really work to your advantage as well. 
Runner goes and Ortega fouls it back. So Morell for the second. One two to Ortega. And he fouls it away. One two coming. And Ortega takes it high. Morell's gone twice. Not this time. And a double play ball to Guillaume's right. The flip to Lindor. The spin around for the throw. So it takes the fastball out of the strike zone. So Gary won't inclined to run. And it seemed as though Walker. He chose to spin that other way around, which you would have never done 15 years ago. He turned his back to Utley. Fly ball deep center field. Back goes Nimmo. Wind knocks it down. And Nemo's there to make the play. We're in five of the Cubs batting order. Ian Happ, Seiya Suzuki, and Nico Horner up. And a first pitch curveball in for a strike. Nothing in one. One hit through the first three innings. A broken bat single by Christopher Morell. And Happ fouls off the splitter. And so last year hit just 226. And Josh Harrison went to the University of Cincinnati. Kevin Euclid. He did, but he was a basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> Which, uh, it's great Sandlot baseball. Uh, I wanted the Zika to try to get together. And that's up and in. Another call that Walker. A couple of his calls. And Walker strikes out half with a high fastball. Gibson's tomorrow tonight. Highly recommended. Say Suzuki lined out to right his first time up. Suzuki, 27 years old, bounces one toward the hole. Lindor can't come up with it cleanly, and Suzuki's a bit. The guys who are playing now for the Cubs, and who is going to be around? Nicholas Mackey Horner. <laughs> Nico to his friend. Warner slashes one back into the screen. Quite. In year, four hundred forty million dollar deal. That's grounded toward the hole again. This time, Lindor gets in front of it, gets the out at second, but no chance to double up in terms of. Average annual value. There goes Horner. Pitch inside. Mazika's throw and not in time. And Horner steal. Schwindel. Grounding one toward the open space. And Gilman can't keep it on the infield. And the game will be tied. Tire right side of the infield. Take that person. Don't hurt your field. That's driven to deep left by Wisdom. Back goes McNeil. Another one knocked down by the. He's given up a run on three hits over the first four. And a first pitch curveball in for a strike. Nothing and one. And then Rafael Ortega, eight, nine, and one in the Cubs batting order. That's driven toward the gap in left center field. That's going to roll all the way back to the Ivy. Higgins heads to second. And he's in standing with a lead. Kind of a. Right down the middle. That's looking for the bunt with Dom really charging and then the back pick throw by Mazika. And Higgins gets back. That's about as time. Sometimes you don't. Morell hits it sharply. Lindor on the backhand holds the runner and gets the out. Beautifully done by Lindor. Has walked and grounded into a double play today. And a first pitch curveball misses for ball one. Sales and almost got by Mazik. Max Scherzer goes tonight against Drew Smiley. David Peterson tomorrow against Adrian Sampson. And now Walker for Schwindel. It is now a 6 1 put out. Which is just as crazy just as 3 6 1. Right. Not touch the ball. Ortega fouls back the high splitter and it's 3 and 2. 3 2 coming. And it's fouled away on a high fastball. 3 and Ortega. Chops one foul. He should be there. Yes. And you know it's not all that far from where he grew up. L.A. It means something. 
swing and a miss struck him out got him with a slider. That celebrity game. I mean I, I wouldn't know I'm guessing one of the Kardashians has got a percentage ninth in slugging but they don't hit with runners in scoring position that's why they're only 11th in runs scored. Now Walker behind on Contreras 2 and 0. And he threw a slider past him and it's 2 and 1. As it did on Thursday as it probably will tomorrow as well. Grounded to short Lindor waits on it. And makes the play on Contreras side retired walkable.com and save. Frank Schwindel with the only RBI. Run scoring single in the third. Sixth in a 1 1 game. Ian Happ leading off. It's a breaking ball and flies it to shallow left. In comes McNeil. With very few fly balls in this game, one out. Um, and then I think it was my first start back after the IL. Um, I've thrown both, but this one was still resistantly. This one used just to run sometimes instead of um, sink. Um, this one is just go straight down every time. Go holds it. It's interesting that being able to pull on those two. Mm. Uh, his splitter has been so phenomenal. The slugging for some run on that pitch this year. You know, the key is to have, you know, have big, strong forearm. Yeah, Suzuki lifts one foul. Suzuki's lined out. Yells in comparison to the number of cups in that snake. On the outside corner, he got him looking at a slider. Suzuki was right. <laughs> You know it's funny about ball players when they don't like the call is exactly what it was when they were six or seven years old. It hasn't changed. Warner pops one up. Mazika watches it sail out of play. Well, your first one, you're probably not going to see that now because, you know, as we know, there's no crying. Escobar picks it out of the air and that retires the side. Got it right before.